Hi everyone, I'm Nancy. And I'm Stephanie. And if you enjoy our videos, please like and subscribe. We had the Trooping the Colors Saturday. Stephanie and I woke up very, very early. It started at 2 a.m. West Coast where we were. And it was totally worth it because it was the first Trooping the Color that King Charles was the monarch. It was also the first Trooping the Color in 37 years that a monarch has roan a horse mm -hmm. because the queen did not do it in the last 37 years of her life because for obvious reasons. It was also the first time that Prince Edward was on a horse. Mm -hmm. So a lot of first times. It's not actually King Charles's birthday. His birthday is in November. They always celebrate Trooping the Color in June because of the weather and it's just perfect time to do it. It started off with King Charles coming out and he was the first one out of the Buckingham Palace. Nancy kept going, who is that? Who is that? I could not it tell. It was funny. I was like, that's King Charles. I could oh. not tell. It was King how. Charles. <laughs> it was right there. Yeah. I, I could not tell for some reason. It looked like a cross between his dad and Andrew. Mm -hmm. I could not tell. I'm sorry. And I, a little I, William. It was really weird, yeah. but obviously it was King Charles. This is why. Can I tell you why? Mm -hmm. Who, because he really knows how to ride a horse. Yeah, yeah. For, uh, what is he, 74? Yeah. He looked like a, a young man riding yeah. his horse. I was just really surprised at King Charles' uh, riding skills. I, I mean, obviously. Well, he's he done might, it his whole life. He's done it his whole life, but I just don't. I was very impressed. Yeah. I was very impressed. And then you see Prince William, Edward, and Anne come out, and that was so I love that. beautiful. And they're just all like together. This protective bubble. Yeah, it was really sweet. I would have liked to see Andrew there, but I know he couldn't. Yeah. And then you see the carriages come out. We're all waiting to see what Princess Catherine is gonna wear. But she was wearing green because she is the Colonel of the Irish Guards. Mm -hmm. So that was very fitting. For and her. was she wearing? He had the she shamrock. Had the shamrock, that's yes. right. And that shamrock has been passed down mm -hmm. for many generations. The Queen Mother would wear that right. shamrock every time she would go visit the Irish guards. I believe Princess Anne has worn that in the past. Mm -hmm. So that shamrock is very she special. She looks great. She just looks so fantastic. And Queen Camilla, who is the Colonel of the Grenadier, she looked wonderful in her red and her gold collar. And I also like how she had that black hat, that King's Guards hats, the, you know, big bear hats. Like an homage. Yeah, it was very nice. Everything was very fitting, very military style, very pomp and circumstance. The parade was great. The kids got out of the carriage during the beginning of the ceremony, and then they went up in the offices to watch. It was so cute because little Charlotte was next to Sophie and they were having like their own little conversation and it was so cute. I thought that was, yay, that's so cute. And when everybody was ready to go off in their carriages, the kids came back, went back in with Queen Camilla and Princess Catherine and Sophie and Anne's husband got into a carriage and then they all went back to Buckingham Palace while waving, it was so great, with King Charles at the helm, and he did a great job, and then he did this cool thing where he stopped in front of Buckingham Palace, and then just kind of saluted everybody as they were going by. I thought that part was really cool too. Old school. So it was just super old school, um, very, very cool. Again, bittersweet that the queen wasn't there. I was really, really hoping to see the entire family on the balcony in honor of the queen. I know that he wants to slim down the monarchy. I know that it would have been hard to make sense of that, even though Harry wasn't going, but I'm sure Harry and Meghan would have made a fuss about it. Well, see, look, they had Beatrice and Eugenie on the balcony. But they're working royals, right? Eugenie and Beatrice oh, they're not. are not working royals, no. They do. I would have liked to see everybody. I would, I would have liked to see Zara, her kids. Um, you know, I always like seeing the Phillips up there. This was I the always first time. Seeing... Let's give them a learning curve here. You know, every I, I liked it. I thought they all yeah, looked beautiful. Yeah, but it, it was missing. If I, Like I said, if I have to give it a grade, I would have given it an A and not an A+, plus because I think having the entire family on the balcony would have been very special. Kind of filling the void or filling the loss in our hearts that we still have. I mean, it's only it's only been nine months. 
So it still is this loss in our heart. So I think, I think it would have been nice, but what do I know? But everyone looked great. Prince Louis, as usual, he makes a cute little, ooh. Did you see that? Yeah, it was cute. It's like, ooh. He's all over Instagram and all over Twitter again. And He's I love him so for that. so cute. He's just, he dominates. I know. And um, Prince William had this kind of endearing moment where he put his arms around Princess Charlotte, and it looked really cute. And you could just tell they have a huge father-daughter bond. They're a very close family. The mall was packed to the brink. So those are people that were saying that nobody cares about this uh, monarch and the future of the monarchy. Okay, guys, try getting a ticket to this. Because you guys might want to try Earth sometime. Yeah, try Earth. And there was also this really cute uh, moment where... Charlotte, she had allergies and she was kind of scratching her nose. And King Charles becomes a grandfather mm -hmm. right away and he puts his arm around Charlotte to make sure she's okay. Mm -hmm. And I thought that scene was really cute Family too. First. <laughs> There's a part where you could tell maybe a horse had to relieve itself a little bit and Prince Louis could smell it. That was kind of cute. Be you. But um, I thought Princess Sophie looked fantastic. Everybody looked great. Everybody looked great. So Trooping of the Color, um, happy birthday to King Charles, and I'm sure we will wish you a happy birthday in November again, but it was a great Trooping of the Color. Yay. Yay. The day before the Trooping the Color, we get some news from Spotify. Spotify says that they are parting ways with Meghan and Harry. It's a joint statement, which means it uh, was pre-approved by both camps, Spotify and Meghan and Harry. And it goes like this. Spotify and Archwell Audio have mutually agreed to part ways and are proud of the series we made together. The audio streaming giant and the production company launched by the Sussexes said in a joint statement. Archwell's camp is basically saying they're looking for another home? company to go to another home. Now, you mean to tell me that you're at Spotify, which is probably one of the biggest streamers for podcasts yes. anywhere. Yeah. This is it where is the yeah. biggest streamer. <laughs> this is where Joe Rogan is, people. This is where Joe Rogan is, okay? It doesn't get any bigger than this. And they're like we were number one at Spotify, but you know what? We're gonna we're gonna find another place to land. Mm -hmm. Why not just say it was just too much for us? Why not just say we're losers? Yeah, I mean, why not just come out and say I would respect them more at this point if you just if they said just, we lost. Yeah, like, we lost this one. We are the biggest. They losers gave us ever. millions of dollars to come up with an hour show every week, and we sucked at it. We didn't. Bring, <laughs> they only came up with twelve episodes. We didn't bring any celebrities into it. We <laughs> brought people that you don't even know, and the entire time, uh, forty-five minutes into it, I'm still talking about myself. Why can't she just say that? I would have respected her a lot I, more. I would have, I would have taken a step back and went, wow, you know what? Humility. But That's she, has what no, she, needs. she has no humility. She has absolutely no she shame or humility. No. So then my hero, I don't even know this guy, but he's my hero. And I want to marry him. But I hear he's married. Um, That's never stopped me before. Guy, this guy who is a podcaster and Spotify executive, Bill Simmons comes at him, okay? This is so great, you guys. Bill Simmons, who sold the ringer to Spotify in 2020, has risen through the tech company's executive ranks, derided Harry and Meghan Markle on his podcast Friday as effing grifters. Grifters. We've been saying that the entire time that they're effing grifters. Now we, can we take allegedly off of that? Are they really <laughs> effing grifters now? Yeah, I guess we could, we, we don't have to say allegedly anymore. Thank you, Bill. Uh, apparently the $20 million that they gave the Sussexes for this deal, this, we mm -hmm. called this with the Netflix deal too. Yeah. They did not just hand over the money no. and with the book deal. No. They just don't hand you over money. They don't say, Here's $20 million for writing one book. Here's a hundred thousand. Which bank do you want me to yeah, deposit like, in? Exactly. Yeah. It's like, yeah. how should I wire this? They don't do that. Um, and the same goes with Spotify. They don't just give you $20 million and say, well, you, well, you decide to produce whatever, 
let us know. She only did 12 episodes mm -hmm. and they were terrible. Horrible. It was like listening to paint dry while on sleep medication. It was so bad question to you. you you do a lot of business deals a lot of negotiations i do well let, let, let's just i wish i'd been involved in the megan and harry leave spotify negotiation <laughs> the fucking grifters that's the podcast we should have launched with them we, um i gotta get drunk one night and tell the story of the zoom i had with harry to try to help him with the podcast idea do it it's one of my best stories do it. We, there hasn't been a drunk this podcast let's both get drunk Drugs and then we'll just be drunk. Say that again. it'll be really Funny. easy the grifters. here's my my business <laughs> that is huge. Yeah. So everybody on Twitter, including me, we have been trying to, we will start a GoFundMe for this pit guy. No, don't. No, I doubt he needs the money. But what can we do to get Bill Simmons drunk? To tell that story. Get him drunk. Schnapps. Get him drunk. Sh well, schnapps. schnapps him. Schnapps. Schnapps. Um, he has zero Fs. Yeah, he really doesn't care. He doesn't care. He's yeah. so great. Yeah. So I just love that there's probably more bills out there that have all these stories and they're just waiting to pounce, you know, because they're going to go, you know, one day it's just going to be a free for all. They're going to, one of them's going to move back to the UK. The divorce is going to happen and we could just start talking. <laughs> so SS, their theory is Megan and Harry fired Spotify because they wanted to go to a bigger outlet. Yeah, they parted. They par No, they left yeah. because they wanted to go to a bigger outlet, bigger than Spotify. That's that's what the Sussex Squad is saying. I Bigger I'm not kidding. Spotify. I'm not kidding. And um, this is not allegedly. This is what the narrative is going on in Sussex Squad world, yeah. in delusional world. Delusional land. Um, it's so funny what they come up with. They're just, I know, but don't let them. So get to you. um, I just said I go. This is what she's gonna do. She's gonna start her own YouTube page because mm -hmm. that's the only outlet she can go to at this point. Nobody's gonna sign her. Yeah, yeah. Nobody. Yeah. She'll do her tag and then YouTube. Yeah, exactly. All of a sudden, a uh, article comes up from the Daily Mail during Trooping the Color. Megan does a pap walk. Wait, like the pap walk she did for the coronation? Yes. No way. <laughs> yes. What are the odds that Megan's gonna do a pap walk on the king's birthday? Just like she did on the coronation. I know. You, That's like a billion to one. You would think there's just no way because she's not like that. No. She's a class she's act. She's never done that before. She's a class act. Well, my favorite part of this article is they say makeup free. Mm -hmm. Meghan Markle looks glum as she is spotted in public for the first time since her 20 million Spotify podcast deal ended and streaming services head of innovation called her and Harry effing grifters. The pictures are taken by Backgrid, so we don't need we know, to tell yeah, you that grid. these are. So every single picture that you're about to see in this article, she planned. She looked at first, she, she okayed them before they got shipped out. That's why they got shipped she, out Saturday morning and not the Friday that, that, that it, they were taken. The bag, the sweater, the, and the flats were also men mentioned in the article. Yes. And, and so it's a commercial. So she's merching. The bag was a $5,400 Fendi bag. $5,400 Fendi bag. Okay, people? Again, I'm not going to, I'm not going to tell you all the other stuff she was wearing because I'm not going to merch for her, but um, we could at least mention the bag. This was definitely a commercial. The look on her face, she wanted to look that way. Melancholy. She wanted to look gloomy and upset. Yes. Because something, as her mom Doria would say, something's coming down the pike. And I guarantee you it's divorce, probably separation first. She's been setting Harry up for the last year mm -hmm. to make him look cuckoo, to make him look like an absentee father, to make him look paranoid. Mm -hmm. And it's working yeah. to people that don't realize what she's doing. We obviously realize exactly what she's doing. The best thing for Harry at this point is to go back to Britain and just stay away from her. I, I know it's going to be hard with the, without the kids, but dude, the kids just, just, they'll be fine. Mm -hmm. They'll be fine. Okay. Just, I know it's hard, but they'll be fine. He, he needs to go back to the UK. He needs to get into some sort of rehab center. He needs to be close to his family and his, especially his brother. And he has to just get his life. Well, what does he want to do this for the next 30 years of his life, he's going to do this? He's going to just sue 
paparazzi and papers get... while she does what? What? I mean, she, you can't, you can't do, uh, I'm getting sick of it. And Megan I, needs well, to, to, I know, but. Megan needs to sit down. She's not though. This, this shows okay, me you that don't, she... You don't do a pap walk on the king's uh, birthday trooping of color. You don't do it in a glum, ho oh, hum, sad way. Oh, and hum. again, guys, there's no paps in Montecito. Nope. There are no paps. Where are you getting this, Megan? What? And these, and these crystal clear shots. She looks great. And it's backgrid. Show me, show me it's not backward. That, do one yeah, pap shot that's not- Yeah, thousand dollars. Yeah, a thousand dollars if the next uh, paparazzi picture is not backward. Thousand dollars. It won't happen. No. I would love it. No. Nope. No, because she won't have control of the picture. Yes. She needs control of these pictures. She needs to know how she dresses, how she looks, what what uh bag she's the, even the way she's going like this with her hair going, everything everything has to be approved by megan everything I, I think partying ways is inevitable inevitable for sure i don't i mean i can't imagine their home life being a good one i can't well, i don't think they live in the same home yeah allegedly allegedly yeah and now there's rumblings, and I, this is only rumblings. I think it's her agent putting this in the atmosphere just to create a little buzz mm -hmm. that she's about to sign a major deal with Dior. Oh, that's interesting because he was the first of the rumblings that said, oh, I'm going to sign this with Dior. And now she's now the rumbling saying, yeah. I'm going to sign with Dior. Well, so. because Dior did a really crappy job at dressing him for the coronation. Oh, that was a nightmare. <laughs> so maybe they just went, whoa. Yeah. No. But now there's rumblings that she's going to get a deal. And that's the ranks. And that's um, in the same category as Charlize Theron, uh, Natalie Portman. Yeah. Short of Rachel Zoe, no one is going to save Meghan Markle right now. That's Nobody. just my opinion. There is absolutely no way Dior is going to sign her. And the reason why is this isn't just the British royal family. This is the Swedish royal family. This is Finland. This is all over the place. This is Denmark. They wear Dior. Mm -hmm. So I just cannot for it's the just, life of me. It's just rumblings and it's, it's gossip. Yeah, I don't if believe it for trying, a second. Yeah, if a, if a, Agents gonna say that they just want the gossips out there, yeah. Yeah, they just want to get her name. Distract, in the paper. distract. Yeah, exactly. Okay. I don't think Dior's gonna sign yeah, her. I just, that would be such a mistake. Because and then the Dior, the past Dior that she's worn is always gonna get remembered as the alleged baby bump mm -hmm. Dior and the alleged Mike in her lapel Dior. Yeah, I'm just. Uh... So I, I mean, I can't, I, don't know I can't what imagine it is. It's one of those days that I just don't care about yes. Megan Markle. <laughs> so one more thing, I went over to Mad Dogs and Englishmen bike shop to go see how they were doing, giving away all those free bikes to underprivileged kids. I was really, um, I needed to know. So they have this new thing up on their Instagram. Mad Dogs and Englishmen bike shop is assembling and donating 50 bikes to the Boys and Girls Club in Carmel by the sea and Montecito and another 25 bikes to trips for kids in Mill Valley. Okay, that guys. sounds good on paper. Now, doesn't it sound good? It sounds, it sounds great, great on, paper. on paper. It does, it sounds good on paper. Now, if you know anything about Boys and Girls Club is you, you'll know, yes, it is a nonprofit. However, the parents still pay for the programs. They're after school programs. Now that, now that it's summer, it's a huge camp program. This isn't some underprivileged kids in the inner city. These are children in Carmel, California and Montecito, the two richest zip codes in California. I'm not kidding. I've been to Carmel. I've been to Montecito. Okay, guys, there is nothing underprivileged about these children. Nothing. So you're saying they can they could go definitely to find some. I think real they can really find kids. some underprivileged kids. They're just doing it for. This is the most ridiculous thing I yeah. have ever seen, and oh my goodness, every single uh, Sussex squad that gave money, you guys have been hoodwinked. That's my opinion. I'm not saying that 
Boys and Girls Club is not a worthy charity to give to. We've worked with the Boys and Girls Club in Portland. I'm just saying that if you're gonna go as far as saying underprivileged kids around the world, which was their original statement, sticking local to Carmel and Montecito kind of seems a little, you know, not, not trying very hard. Today's animal rescue is gentle giants. They're a horse rescue saving draft and draft cross horses from slaughter, abuse, and neglect. We're doing this in honor of all the wonderful horses we saw in Trooping the Color on Saturday. We think they did a wonderful job. Obviously they go out to pasture and they have wonderful lives, but these are to the horses that don't get that kind of treatment. And these guys are great little foundation to give to. I will put the link in the description below like I always do. We have a cute little dodo video in the website and I'll also put that in the description really below. Cute. It's super cute. So please, if you can't give any love to them, please share their link. It really does make a difference to get the word out there and we really do appreciate it. Thanks guys. We hope you have a great day. Happy, Happy Father's day. day. Did you guys see the picture of the Prince of Wales and the kids, the Catholic I haven't put seen up? it yet, it's but I gotta so watch. It's so cute. See it. yeah. Our dad's been playing golf all day and then we're gonna bring him dinner tonight. So we hope you guys have a great day. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. See you soon.